all right hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is brian from k hux nation and in today's video we're going to be going over all of the latest updates that have arrived in the 3.4.0 update of kingdom hearts and cross uh now just throwing it out there i wanted to cover this yesterday but unfortunately i didn't have time because i had to go to work so trying to do it today <laughs> before i have to go to work again anyways uh let me let's quickly go ahead and go through this there's quite there's quite a lot uh that they did as you can see here there's like a bajillion notices that came out yesterday <laughs> uh and we'll just kind of go through them one by one um first of all we have a story quest update finally uh i'll be doing a different video of me going through the actual story quests uh for any of you that are interested in watching that and like you know my initial reactions to whatever the story is and such so i'll be doing that later uh hopefully before i can go to work too but we'll find that we'll we'll see uh da -da -da. the proud mode Plus, or no, the Proud Plus quests are gone. Uh, in case you remember, those in the events section, there's like Proud Plus quests that get awarded Sun Gems. Those are no longer there. So, just worth throwing out. Return at Avatar Boards. We have some new stained glass medals, or not new, they're just being upgraded. TLDR, I don't really feel like it's worth pulling for these. Uh, just because yeah i whenever they upgrade metals i never really feel like it's worth pulling for the upgraded metal so if that makes sense okay um so I, I'll, I'll make a different video discussing these further at length but basically my general synopsis is that i don't really feel like it's worth pulling for these uh unless you already have like multiple copies of the same stained glass metal and you only need like one or two copies left in order, in order to upgrade it that would be the only reason why i'd probably pull for these but yeah and they're good medals. They're kind of like little mini gulas for their respective attributes. Um, but they're not crazy enough where I think it warrants chasing after, if that makes sense. You're, you're probably better off chasing for medals uh, that... Uh, new medals. New medals that come out. Okay. Continuing on, uh, the Keyblade War Part 2 came out. I already posted the cutscenes for this already on the channel. If you want to go ahead and check that out. Uh, it should be my last Kingdom Hearts video that I, that I posted. Uh, back. Uh, they have Hades Paradox Cup game as well. Uh, we have the uh, Brave Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and collaboration that's happening with the game. Uh, we also got a new event or quest. Well, it's, it's kind of both. Okay, so we got uh, kind of a little collaboration quest thing where, like, depending on how many people beat the event quests and stuff will determine what awards get awarded to uh, our game and their game how many new players play the game uh gets awards for brave vexius and union cross that sort of thing so it's just it's just filling in it's just kind of like a little campaign period uh to like it's basically just a big promotional event that's all it is let's see a uh, big bonus challenge okay this is the brave vexius collaboration challenge okay you can get up to 5,000 jewels uh doing this i've already completed it uh if i might do a little walkthrough maybe not a walkthrough but a little playthrough of me completing it if you might need some help uh getting through this i'm also gonna be doing the same thing with the nightmare charity too just because of the fact a lot of people seem to have difficulty beating nightmare charity i beat that on my first run through uh let's see okay but i think that's all of the standard kind of releases the the main things that i want to go through in today's video though are the actual new new stuff like new mechanics and whatnot what updates did they actually change in the core functionality of the game that's those are the primary things i want to cover uh, just because they're kind of somewhat significant uh just came in i just logged in for the day hey holly not yet okay not yet all right so first thing that i want to mention in terms of the update in terms of the 3.4.0 update okay is that they i have finally addressed uh not it wasn't really an issue in the past but it, it was like one of those like little mini issues that kind of always 
bothered me, but wasn't as big of a deal compared to many other things that were in the game. Uh, and that being the fact that levels for the longest time didn't really mean anything. They literally didn't mean anything. But now, what they have finally incorporated into the game are these passive abilities. So if you go to your actual player card, so as you saw here, I just tapped on my character in the top left screen. Your player card comes up here, your ID, whatever you want to call this, okay? If you look in the bottom, you see where it says like the Facebook share button right next to the left of that? There's th that thing called passive. That's new. If you click on this, you will see all of the passive abilities or, you know, passive effects that you have received based on your level. Passive effects, you can also click on that too, and it kind of gives you a little brief description, all right? Now, it's worth noting that at level 800, you have a max of plus 3,000 strength applied to all your medals, plus 3,000 defense, and plus 5,000 HP, and a bonus of three gauges across all your Keyblades at level 800. Now, I have a few thoughts about this mechanic. Uh, a, like I mentioned before, I absolutely love the fact that they're finally doing something in relation to your actual player level. Okay, now it, it kind of gives a little bit more incentive for people to actually want to raid again, uh, actually want to level up and such, get Lux. I haven't been enthusiastic about raiding for maybe like the past year, past year and a half, something like that, just because of how like insignificant it started. Because it was basically was at that point. Uh, but this just helps give more reason to actually want to do it, even if it's not for the rating rewards that you get at the end of the week. At the very least, you get Lux out of it, which can help you level up. Um, and remember that when you level up, you do refill all of your stamina bar. So one of the things you can easily do to help abuse the fact of how fast you might be leveling up is if you go ahead and go into the quest section, you go to the events area, when my phone decides to load, <laughs> There we go. Go to events area and you know all of those like farmable quests that we keep getting recently? These like uh, event coins galore for example and how like the most advanced one costs 60 AP. Well, <clears throat> if you know you're about to level up, okay, you can try and spam all as many of these as possible until you reach like very low AP. And then you level, uh, do one more rating quest, level up real quick and you'll get it all maxed out again. You'll have all of your AP refilled and then you can do this all over again. Nice, easy way to kind of be able to grind through this a little bit easier without having to wait many hours for it to refill. Okay, so just a quick reminder. Um, now, one of the drawbacks that, as I was explaining, that I kind of don't like about the passive effects is the fact that I personally don't feel like the passive effects are significant enough. I feel like they're way too low because um, quite quite literally look at this as of right now there's only maybe like one person in the game from what I could tell or maybe a handful possible okay in the entire game like in the entire community playing the game that are even at level 800 <laughs> or close to 800 at this point um, it's very difficult to to reach that because of how much raw locks you need and at that high of a level, you only receive plus 3,000 strength. That's very insignificant, in my opinion. Uh, just because of the fact that I can easily get an extra 3,000 strength just from metal abilities, from traits, okay? Um, chips and dales. Like, there's already so many different ways to easily get plus 3,000 strength. An extra 3,000 strength isn't gonna make too much difference at this point in the game. Um, personally, especially at that high of a level with so much dedication needed to even reach that level, it's it's just not it's just not worth it in my opinion. It's not significant enough. Um, personally, I feel like these numbers need to at least be like tripled to warrant actually chasing, if that makes sense. Because as you saw for just from my own my own bonuses. Each, each time you uh, you gain a bonus, you only get maybe like plus 50 of that bonus. That's nothing. It's literally nothing, okay? And then at max is plus 3,000, which if by the time you reach that, you probably don't even need it. 
So altogether, I feel like it's a good step in the right direction, but I do think it needs improvement. Um, personally, I think they need to at least triple it. Imagine how uh, how much more worth it it would be if instead of plus 3,000 strength, it was like plus 9,000 strength. That's a big difference. That's a huge difference. That would really want pe like encourage people to want to chase for leveling up way more. Um, because at that point, it's it's almost practically like an an entirely new metal upgrade. You know how in the same way how like going from six star to seven star added like an entire like seven k strength to the metal or whatever, and then we have the Miawa evolutions would give like another seven eight k strength to that. Just by being level eight hundred and having plus nine thousand strength, that's basically an entire new evolution for that for all your metals. Okay, that in my opinion, would be hardcore worth chasing after four. Um, 3,000 strength though, I don't I don't really, at that level, I don't really feel like it's worth it. So personally for me, I'm not gonna, I will be uh, having a better interest in raiding and leveling up now, but I'm not gonna be hardcore chasing for it just because of how uh, little like return of an of investment I'm receiving compared to like, what I'm actually how much effort I'm actually putting into it okay so next up let's see what else was there um oh yeah they changed how some of the boosters uh or how some of the sub slots are working on the monocolored keyblades uh so for example um if you recall the whole reason why we got boosters so the actual the whole reason why we got the actual boosters uh, for these past few months or so for the mono keyboard colored keyblades is simply because of the fact that uh, Square Enix recognized the fact that mono color keyblades kind of have a bit of a disadvantage compared to multicolored keyblades uh, because of the fact that the multicolored keyblades can take advantage of all the different uh, higher tiered metals more often because they're spread out across all the colors whereas Monocolored keyblades, they're not going to have nearly as many higher tiered metals in a single color compared across all colors. So that's what the, these were there for. But now they finally addressed this issue and by giving all monocolored keyblades. If you click on subslots, it shows underneath my multiplier, it shows right beneath that at times 1.6. That's going to be addressing, uh, basically, help balancing out. The monocolor keyblades versus the multicolor keyblades and now at this point they should be roughly even so that's a nice plus uh it is worth noting though that for the rest of this month of september that on top of having the times 1.6 key uh, uh bonus to the monocolor keyblade we also still have the actual booster for the rest of this month so for this month only specifically all of the monocolored keyblades are, are essentially pretty busted. <laughs> Very busted because they have the boosters and the times 1.6 uh, multiplier sub slot bonus on top of it. So I highly recommend you try using the monocolored keyblades for the rest of this month, but afterwards you can pretty much use whatever you want. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So one of the biggest changes that needs to be listed that honestly i i i have i'm very conflicted about um and i, I definitely want to talk about because it's it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time okay um and i think they oh well i'll, I'll just go into it. okay so in regards to the moogle shop essentially how the moogle shop works is the fact that quite literally you have to pay jewels for everything in the moogle shop so they have the trait section where you can literally pay. If you have VIP, you have access to getting discounted uh, access to certain traits for your medals for only 1,000 jewels compared to everything else, which is 5,000 jewels. All traits are 5,000 jewels unless you have VIP for specific traits, which are only 1,000. On the other tab, you have items. Everything here is, or at least in most of them, are 1,000 jewels, uh, with the exception of the gems being 3,500 jewels. Okay. Now, personally, for the most part, I heavily dislike 
this like is probably not even a strong enough word to be honest i i honestly i i i want to say hate but at this point it's like i don't think hate even covers it <laughs> it's a mixture of disappointment resentment hate uh, dislike it's just all these negative emo emotions just mixed together in this bag because this I, I just knew as soon as they announced that synthesis shop that they were going to be releasing that as an update I just knew I just knew from prior experience for all the other major updates that they've added into the game I knew they were gonna they were essentially gonna mess this up they do it every single time every single time there's a new update they mess it up now in case you're wondering well how do they mess it up let's talk about that all right, so just talking about the traits alone, for example, all right, personally, the fact you can purchase traits, I think that's fantastic. It's the first time in the game that you truly, absolutely have a guaranteed shot at guaranteeing a specific trait on your medals. What I don't like about this shop or about this, though, is how completely overpriced all of the traits are okay because quite frankly most traits are absolute garbage <laughs> straight up absolute garbage uh like the uh like the status element traits those are not nearly as important anymore compared to what they once used to be all right these are only relevant relevant for pvp but with the state that PvP in, is in right now, the especially with pet traits thrown into the mix, where you can have just pure, just 100% resistance to a status element, it's like it, they're 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 much less relevant at this point. That at this point, like I used to be a hardcore advocate and fan um, for status element strategies and such, and while they're still kind of viable, they're not nearly as potent as they once used, once used to be. Um, so personally these should be i personally feel like these should be uh 1000 jewels 2000 jewels at most okay but definitely not 5000 you're like having all traits of 5000 you're basically saying that you view like plus 800 hp at, to be nearly as to basically be the same playing field just as good as say minus 60 ground or air or even extra attack that's what you're saying there and it just no okay um only the most sought after traits i believe could possibly even warrant being 5000 traits i mean jewels okay uh if i were to price these traits what i would personally say okay 5000 jewels for extra attack i think that's that's reasonable okay because of how sought after extra attack is especially with all the crazy of new abilities that are coming out these days like the uh Basically, every single medal that you have right now that ha increases strength in any, sh any way, shape, or form, such as the plus 1500 strength, such as like QR21 that just came out recently, for example. All right. Any medal that does something relatively, or any of the foretellers for that matter, uh, any medal that does something similar to those guys, you, you almost you almost always want extra attack on them because you want to build up as much strength across your entire keyblade as, as much as possible to do more damage. Uh, so extra attack is almost like a requirement for those type of medals, especially copy medals. Remember those? Okay. Um, right now, we only have three, like, supernova copy medals in the game right now. We have uh, Demix, uh, Amber, Angelic Amber, I mean, as well as uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Lee. Those are the only three copy medals that we currently have in the game so or if that are supernova i should say um having extra attack on those is going to be one of the biggest investments you could possibly make in the game right now because those are going to outlast more metals compared to or in the long run compared to other things uh minus 60 air and defense i would probably rate these as probably around 3,000 jewels just because of the fact that they're not as potent as extra attack Okay, or not nearly as like required as extra tech, but they're still highly sought after because you do need the minus 60 traits in order to actually put a dent. Uh, if you're trying to deal actual damage, uh, you need these to put a dent into any like high level enemy. This is more so for things like PVE and Colosseum. Um, they're not nearly as necessary. 
especially lately with how high strength has becoming lately too, you don't necessarily need minus 60 nearly as much compared to what you once used to before strength buffs started becoming a thing. Um, so although they're definitely nece like necessary and they're one, they're one of the most sought after traits, they're not nearly as important as what they used to be is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I would rate extra attack as being way more important now, especially with all the buffs being related to the abilities. So even if you don't do damage with the metal that's raising buffs, at least you're giving the rest of your setup buffs um, by be doing by casting again with extra attack, that sort of thing. So I personally think that these should be like 3000. I think uh, raids should be 3000 as well, just because of the fact that uh, against raid bosses, minus 60 doesn't really do anything. So the raid's 40% almost becomes the equivalent of a minus 60 against raid bosses specifically, um, which is going to be absolutely great for any any raiders out there that are trying to get a perfect, like, or a very specialized raiding medal or setup for that matter. Okay, so I think these three should be 3,000 jewels. Extra tech should be 5,000. Um, strength, honestly, I don't feel like the strength and defense strength, these, these personally, I feel like should be about 2000, maybe 1.5, like 1500 or 2000. I would rate it around there. Um, the status element and HP, I would put these as well as, uh, max gauges. I would probably put these four as 1000 jewels. Okay. And then max gauges. As maybe like 1500 or 2000 because sometimes you really do need more gauges it holds more value in my opinion um and then i personally believe that in terms of any like kind of discount on for vip for traits i personally believe it should be more along the lines of like uh each day the game randomly selects new traits for you to uh for you to be able to get on discount okay i feel like something along those lines will be way more incentivizing for you to actually want to get vip because realistically although strength like plus 1000 strength is nice on a metal you don't actually need plus 1000 strength on a metal okay what you need on most metals are the more costly traits like i mentioned minus 60 as well as extra attack if you have at least those two or three traits, you're pretty much solid on regardless of whatever traits you have in your metal. Plus 1000 strength is literally just icing on the cake. That's it. You don't actually need it though. That's the thing. Um, so telling me that I'm gonna have a discount on plus one strength and defense, that's not really incentivizing. It's, it's not that incentivizing. Uh, I would much rather just save my jewels and try and get as many minus 60 and extra attacks as much as possible and then if I, it's just more of like if i had any if i had any left over sure i'll dump some on strength um not nearly many people want defense either so it's like so that's just talking about uh the traits how very it, very out of touch the company seems to be with how valuable their current their like the currency or how valuable anything is in their game they clearly don't understand how valuable things are in their game um like no who, who in their right mind unless you're a beginner player and don't know any better is gonna pay 5,000 jewels for poison resist plus 20 percent for example like that's ludicrous absolutely ludicrous in terms of the items personally aside from the gems um although arguably gems too uh almost everything in the item section right here shouldn't even need to cost jewels period okay mithril shards when was the last time we used mithril shards only beginning players actually use mithril shards when they're first upgrading their keyblades that's it once you first start upgrading your keyblades you don't use mithril shards anymore they're literally completely useless you don't use them and you're charging me a thousand jewels for it like that's that's completely insane um in terms of chips and deals, we get these all the time anyways, just from doing daily quests, from doing raiding. Uh, we get them as a rewards all the time at the end of the week from like, again, raiding or any like high score challenges and such. Um, practically for everything. We also have 
I mean, if you have VIP as well, what do you need to do this for? Why would you pay a thousand jewels for Chips and Dales when you have access to the farmable uh, Chips and Dale quest? Like, it it literally doesn't make any sense. Why would you charge me for this? Um, same thing with Huey Dewey Louis. Okay, we get these almost every single quest. Why would I want to buy it? Uh, on top of the fact that, like I mentioned with the Chips and Dales, we have those farmable... Uh, and this applies to free to play players too. We have those farmable uh, experience quests, quests where you can literally farm as many like experience medals as you want. Okay, and and if you have VIP, including who you do Louis for the mega farm, like, and then Sids. Why would you want to pay for Sids? We every body, including free to play players, already have the free the daily Sid quest. <laughs> it like it's completely ludicrous. And then in terms of magic rooms and magic mirrors, again, why would I want to buy this? All right. All new metals that come out these days in the game already come out as their seven star uh, version. Any relevant metal for that matter. Okay. Um, most banners these days already guarantee at least like a hand, like one or two, maybe four uh, seven star medals in each pull. Like they're not even able to use these on those medals. So what's the point of me trying like me wanting to buy them let alone charging for them like this is what i was making sense um it is like it, it just doesn't make sense and then another thing that doesn't make sense is that the fact that they have a button on the top right that says sell materials which to me is kind of odd and i believe that uh they did mention on like reddit and i think in the recent stream which i have not gotten to take to uh got in a moment to watch just yet because i was at work uh, unfortunately, so I couldn't watch it live. But I believe they did mention some stuff about uh, incorporating more stuff to the Moogle Shop later on in terms of like spending money or um, using materials and such. Don't quote me on that just yet. That's from what I believe I heard. I will let you guys know more about that later on in the future when I find out more information. Uh, but I do believe they're, they have future plans to incorporate something to do with money in the materials i just don't know what and when it would come because obviously all they really cared about was pushing the monetization as much as possible first okay obviously in terms of gems personally what i would say for gems is that there should be a way to synthesize the gems with materials but at the same time also have an option to just outright purchase the gems with jewels as well if you want it to okay uh that's my take on it just because of the fact that gems are starting to kind of fall in position with almost every other type of currency in the game or item in the game where they used to be valuable because of how difficult they were to obtain but now these days they're starting to kind of hand them out like hotcakes that they're losing, they're drastically losing their value. Um, and I believe it's worth noting that the avatar boards that would give the gems in them, like the gem boards, those cost 3,500 jewels typically, I believe. Um, but those came with extra stuff in them to kind of arguably warrant being uh worth 3500 jewels whereas in this case you're only buying the gems if i'm only buying the gems i'm not gonna pay 3500 jewels for this like i don't know i i would probably maybe do 2000 but i want to do 3500 but that's just me so all in all this was supposed to be as far as i'm aware this was supposed to be the synthesis shop that the gaming community or the the union cross community has been asking for for over a year now okay quite literally this was supposed to be the synthesis shop and the whole point of the synthesis shop was to be able to a give us a, a way to spend our money like the actual money in the game so like if you go to sell items you see in the top here where it says money yeah, when was the last time you used that besides using like uh evolving metals and stuff okay 
Give us a way to actually spend our money. I've been at max money for the longest time as far, like, I don't know, as far back as I can remember. Um, and, and two, give us a way to actually use all, like, all these materials. I have not touched these materials at all, period, in years. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Okay, and like you can see how insane amount of materials I have at this point too. Like it's just insane. That like that was the entire reason why we wanted the synthesis shop. Was to make a bunch of the obsolete currencies in the game relevant again. That was the whole point. Instead, they basically kind of low-key insulted us by giving us a shop that does neither of those things and at the same time just blatantly asks us to give them all our money for things that don't even matter okay or don't or, or aren't even useful for most for the most part most of them aren't even that useful only a handful of these. Only about a fourth of all of these things between the traits and the items are actually kind of useful or relevant at this point. So, I'm personally, for the most part, overall, I'm not very thrilled. I'm kind of, I'm very, I'm very mad. Uh, I kind of already lashed out a little bit on Twitter. I'm kind of thinking about making a Reddit post too, just to kind of help kind of peg them down hopefully a little bit try and get them to do something about it now rather than you know six months from now like they usually like to do i like to oh they like to squeeze things out of players first before they actually start changing things um and personally for me i just don't find this acceptable i don't find this acceptable at all whatsoever the community has been asking for this for like the past year and a half or so and when they do finally implement it they literally just completely disregard everything that we asked for in the first place and instead just made it into another shop for us to spend our money so i'm personally a little insulted i hope you guys are too um if you would like to share and retweet my tweet about it uh i'll be leaving a link to my tweet down below for you to check out uh and if i do create a reddit post i'll leave it down below as well too so uh, i would really appreciate if you can share it retweet them, whatever, um, as well as make your own posts, your own tweets and Reddit posts as well, complaining about this, because this is just unacceptable. <laughs> you guys, um, I'm not nearly as, uh, um, no. when this first came out, you, you wouldn't believe how much I was cursing and shouting in my room, just because of how completely fucked up I found this to be. Like it, it was, it was, this is probably the most direct insult that I feel like the community, that the, the game has done to the community in such a long time that I, I was absolutely pissed. I was, I was kind of livid, not going to lie. Um, and now I'm just at the point where like, I'm just saying, I'm just kind of like, well, fuck these guys, I guess. <laughs> I guess they just don't learn. Uh, they clearly it, they they keep reminding me how much they just want our money and that's it. And I don't know I don't know how much more I can do with it. It's 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 really aggravating. Um, sorry if I made any of you guys feel down, but no, no. Um, sorry if I made any of you guys feel down. I didn't I didn't intend for that. It's it's just it's just really annoying. All right, next up, there's only a few things left that I need to mention before I end this video. Uh, if you quickly go to the shop, they are currently have a discounted storage sale. So personally, I would recommend trying to increase your storage capacity as much as possible now because of the fact that they only do this about once a year around anniversaries and that's it. Okay. Um, usually they, they want to charge you a hundred jewels for five slots, which is kind of bonkers in my opinion. Uh, so definitely take advantage of this now okay even if there's metals that you need to get I, I i would recommend maybe doing this first before doing any pulls just because of how valuable you're gonna you're gonna need this especially in the long run um 
I was like around 1400 before I did this and then I just dumped a few thousand jewels that I that I had saved up and I was like oh I'm going I'm, I'm gonna abuse this so that's what I did I highly recommend you do storage sale first before doing anything else uh, as well as the fact that second thing there's there's two more things that I need to mention uh, the second one being that if you go ahead and go to the Union Cross they finally added the feature that lets you be able to actually speed up uh, gameplay in Union Gross, which is a huge change because at least I know for me personally, I've been kind of disregarding Union Cross for the longest time because of how slow, agonizingly slow it felt compared to the rest of the game. So now the fact that they finally introduced uh, like the times three feature to, to Union Cross, the, the actual Union Cross mode, it, it makes it more worth actually doing it now like you can see how fast i'm running around and stuff at this point so uh i can actually start doing these more often now <laughs> and you can only imagine that how during the actual bonus hours how incredibly fast people are going to be destroying those bosses of this point. so i'm looking forward to the bonus hours again i haven't actually done like union cross in forever in such a long time uh okay so last but not least as well uh, there's one more thing that I need to mention. So the last thing I need to mention is in terms of the medals and the whole uh, level up system. So if you go into the level up uh, page, okay, one thing that they have significantly changed is optimized. It is optimized. When you click on optimize now, you can actually choose what to optimize about it. Okay. Typically the game would uh, choose things to optimize optimize in order to fully max out your uh your metal as much as possible well now they simplified the format where you can choose what you want and it will automatically do as many of them as possible so instead of just doing five medals like it shows right there you can now if for example if i want to fully level up my uh angelic amber it will now by clicking on the level up button it will do all 24 3d louis uh, two copies of Huey, uh, two more of a four-star Louie, and then one three-star Yuli. It will do all these medals all the exact same time, so don't have to do sit, be sitting there for ten minutes clicking uh, uh, level up, level up, confirm, 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 confirm. I don't have to do that anymore. I can just do it all in one press of a button, which is really convenient and a nice, nice quality of life update, to be honest. Uh, and Cool part too is it, it's not just for level you can actually do multiple things all at once so if i want max strength as well as filling up my uh as well as uh fully leveling up my angelic amber i can do those together at the same time i can also increase defense all together at the same time too same thing with cost it'll do it all the exact same time so that's really nice uh same thing with special attack if that's relevant to your metal uh, chances are if it's a, a seven star metal though at this point it doesn't need it so you don't have to worry about it so really nice change. This is probably one of the more nicer quality of life updates. Uh, not really something completely necessary because uh, I th think a lot of people were already kind of OK with the previous version. But it is a definitely a it's one of those things like it's one of those things that we didn't know we needed until we had <laughs> until we got it, if that makes sense. So other than that, that's it for today's update, guys, uh, in terms of everything new and relevant for the 3.4.0 update. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are about it in the comment section down below, especially, especially the new Moogle shop that's currently in the game. Again, go ahead and check out my tweet. Yeah, go ahead and check out my tweet and possible Reddit posts down below. Please share them. Make your own as well complaining about it if you actually agree with me uh it's cool if you don't but if you do i would truly appreciate it but other than that if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell button so that's why i know when i upload more videos such as this one my name is brian from chaos nation i'll see you guys in the next episode peace guys